Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be one that is usually highly requested and something that I have been literally working on for months. And it's going to be my entire fragrance collection, kind of summary video. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how many bottles I have in my collection, exactly how much it's worth, and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about my collection and where it's at and where I want it to go. So if you'd like to know about this information, then keep watching. But I will quickly kind of tell you guys that this is valued at what you would spend it if you went to a store and paid full retail price for it. A lot of these bottles were given to me. Some of these bottles were partials. Some of these I got in swaps. Some of these I've got tremendous deals on. This number is not close to what I've spent on this collection, but in order for me to tally everything, I really had to just kind of look to see what that particular size bottle would be worth if you were to purchase that particular size bottle in the store now. Now, I do have some bottles that are discontinued, so what I would do is I would kind of find the average price of what that would be, and then that was the cost of it. So in some cases, it could be valued more than what the retail cost was, and in some cases, it could be valued at less. Just to give you a general idea. So the total exact number of bottles in my collection, and these are full-size bottles and large travel size. These are not including decants. These are not including my collection of fragrances from Scentbird and from Luxury Scentbox. These are literally just bottles or travel atomizers of, you know, over $20 or more or of a substantial amount, like an ounce or so. Um, I'm at 588 bottles. So that is pretty substantial. I thought it was going to be less than that, but I'm at almost 600 bottles right now, which is pretty amazing because when I started my YouTube journey, I had 100 bottles, which at the time I thought was an incredible amount of fragrances. And it is an incredible amount of fragrances. And I know my collection isn't particularly the largest on YouTube, but it is a pretty large collection. So that's how many total bottles I have. Now at 588 bottles, some of these bottles of fragrances cost $8 at the lowest and the most expensive one cost $995. So there was a big, obviously a huge, um, difference between um, the cost, but the total total amount, if you were to go into a store and buy these full, full price, full presentation, comes out to $84,396, which blew my friggin' mind because I was expecting it to be at 24 to 25K. It was what I thought the value of my collection was. So I'll show you guys kind of how I did it. I have this little notebook here. It isn't completely full. But what I would do is I would write down the fragrance over here. I'd write the size. And then over here, I'd write the value. So some of these pages have, you know, $135, $20 bottles. And then up top, I would put the value of each page. And then at the very end, I calculated, I um, added everything together, you know, like the mathematician I am with that basic edition. And I was like at the 20,000 mark and I had, I wasn't even halfway done with calculating my pages. So I was kind of ridiculously blown away by that number. But do keep in mind, that is not what I paid for this collection. That is not what you would have to pay for this collection. You can obviously get fantastic deals at Max Aroma. At FragranceNet, you can get amazing deals with swaps. You can buy partial bottles. I mean, you can buy things on eBay if you trust that. I mean, sometimes you can find amazing deals on eBay. You know, some of these were gifts from my parents. Some of these were gifts from you guys. Some of these were gifts from fragrance houses. Some of these were buy one, get one free. I mean, there is a lot of discounts and coupons and stuff that I utilize. I didn't spend near what this fragrance would be valued at if you were to spend it full price. But I didn't, I wouldn't be able to completely calculate exactly how much I spent on it. And this was the easiest way to do it. So if you went to the store and you bought every single bottle I had at full price, it's valued at just under $85,000. Oh boy. And that comes out to an average of $145 a bottle. So 
That is what my collection is worth right now, and it's pretty substantial. I'm debating what I'm going to do moving forward. I'm still collecting, I'm still filling holes and exploring, so this collection's obviously going to grow. But at this point in time, it's pretty big. I'm pretty um, horrified. But I did want to share this collection video with you and kind of talk a little bit more about my collection and just kind of thought it would be fun and you guys would just like to see this side of it. At the very end, um, I was going to film this originally in front of my fragrance cabinets, but it's been taking me so long to figure out how I want to organize. One of my drawers like broke, so the doors are weird. So, But I did think you guys would like this video and be interested in my collection and it was just kind of... Like doing this took me two months, guys. It might not seem like it took two months, but oh man, this took forever, like forever. It took so long to finally open all of my fragrances, put all my fragrances away, write down the names, figure out the size, research the, oh man, it just it took a long time. So I hope you appreciate this video. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking around. I know, again, my schedule's been really weird, but I am planning on being more, um, more punctual in the coming weeks. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.